We've created a few patterns with the step sequencer. Now, what happens if we want to edit or alter some of the properties of the individual steps within here? Well, we can edit note properties in the piano roll editor. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Here's this little pattern as I have it now. It's a one bar pattern. So let's start by soloing the kick. Now, when we press this, we mute. But if I alt click, what it'll do is solo that and mute everything else. So what I can do to alter the sound overall is click there, open up the instrument properties, and I can edit, for example, let's say the filter. And that's all well and fine, but let's say I want to alter just some of the steps. What I'm going to do is right click on here and go piano roll, and it's going to open it up. In this case, undocked, but you can dock it if you want to take up the full screen, but I'm going to leave it undocked like that so we can sort of see what's going on in the background. And we have the note properties available at the bottom here. Now, if we click in here, we're going to be creating additional notes and steps. And I don't want to do that in this particular context. I'm going to scroll a bit and you'll see those are the notes there. Those are all the steps, note, highlighted ones are the ones where they're actual notes. So here's where we control the properties, pan, velocity, release, etc. So let's go to filter cutoff. And maybe I want to lower it on this one. So this one sounds a little bit quieter or darker compared to the one right after it. That's not bad. And let's play with one other one. Maybe this one also. And maybe I want to edit the resonance uniquely on those notes or other ones. Let's give them a little bit different quality. And I can edit the pan or velocity of the individual notes if I want to. But I'm going to leave that as is. Let's go now and edit properties on another one. I can switch what I'm working on here. You'll see the list here of the instruments in my rack that mirrors what's available here. I'm going to go to this one, and now this will update and show us that. And this only has one step that's active. And again, I'm going to Alt-click over here to shift the solo to that. And that's just that one note. So first thing I want to do is lower the velocity. And because there's only one note, I can just lower the volume here, and that actually will do the same thing. But I'm going to lower the velocity of this one note anyway, just for the sake of showing you how to do it if I did have multiple notes. They could be at different velocities. And I want to play with the filter. I want to darken this one again. And maybe I want to change the pitch of it. That's great. And let's look at the resonance. I'm going to leave that as is. It's quieter. Now let's look at the snare drum next. Again, I'm going to alt click here to solo that. And you see the little workflow I'm getting into here. Let's go to the snare and we'll listen to what that sounds like. Okay, so first thing I want to do is change the cutoff on the little ghost note here so that it's quieter. And this one too. Kind of darker. And we can maybe change the pitch of one or more of them. I don't know if I like that. Let me alt click and it'll snap it back. Remember, that's our shortcut to get to default values. And maybe I'll just leave that as it is. Now, let's go to the ice crack and the egg. Those are both percussive sounds. And what I want to do is alter some of the panning here. It was the wrong modifier. Here we go. Alt click that. And I want to change the panning for the individual steps. I could pan all of them all together with this, but I'm going to do the individual steps so that they're moving. So let's go here to ice crack and. I'm going to switch this to note pan, and we can just move some of these around so we'll hear them moving side to side. That's great. And I can also edit if I want, for example, maybe the cutoff of one or more of them just to get them a bit darker. That's too dark. And let's then go to the next one, which is the egg. And again, I'll alt click here. That brings them all back on, but I'll click again and I'll solo that one. And let's listen. Let's pan. I'm just sort of doing these at random. That's the egg. Oh, we're at filter cutoff there. Let's switch to pan. Great. And one last one, this effect. Let's take a look at this and see if we can change the color of this one. 
start with, let's lower the pitch. That's nice. And for sure, some filter cutoff to sort of darken it a little bit. And the resonance will be nice to affect the tail of this. So it's a bit brighter when we raise that up. And I do want to lower the volume, but in this case, I'm just going to lower the volume over here since we only have that one step. So let's listen to the pattern now. I'm going to alt click that and they're all back. So there we've added a lot more personality to the part. Another thing we could do, which I didn't get to is in or on the shaker parts, let's alter some of the velocities as well so that they're not quite as even. There are the velocities over there. And we'll get a bit more dynamics that way. Some of them will be quieter than others. And we'll do the same thing with the egg, just on velocity. And that's the default one there. We can see it shaded in the background. So let's lower some of them and raise some of them so they're accents. And let's listen to that. So there you go, nice way to spice up the patterns and change the properties of individual notes. We'll see if more in the next video.